Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jeff with Game Stork, and today we are going to discuss what's more important, graphics or portability. Game Stork, delivering news, reviews, and playthroughs like a newborn baby. So I began thinking about this once the Nintendo Switch concept was released and I began looking at that and thinking about that and the question came this way to me and I'll share it with you in the same light. Uh, if a game releases on say PS4 and the Nintendo Switch at the same time, if you have the possibility to play this thing on the Switch at 720p at a lower resolution as opposed to playing it in 1080p or 4K on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro respectively which is more viable to the market and which means more uh, to the everyday gamer or I guess you could say the hardcore gamer even though I don't necessarily love that terminology well there are a few factors that go into this that you have to think about now number one uh, I will say this I love my PS4 love my switch uh, so I'll just compare these two the PF PS4 is great. It does awesome things. It's you know it's very impressive. It right now, as far as power is concerned, I suppose this is the most powerful uh, console in the market. However, there you know there are some trade-offs there with that. Number one is that it is somewhat bulky. Even though they did reveal uh, and release a slim model, it's still you know a pretty big system. It, it does pack a punch, but it also requires you to sit in one spot, anchor this thing to a television and play it there and whenever you get ready to play it you either have to move this entire system to a new television or you just make your plans to play a certain game at that certain spot now a lot of people don't mind this as they have certain areas in their homes which we all do as gamers where we just kind of set up where it's our our gaming station i guess you could say and so it doesn't bother most people however nintendo released uh this idea and that with this console with the nintendo switch came this question which is more important to us? The fact is, say you have NBA Playgrounds that just came out on the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, respectively. Now, they look absolutely identical, for all things considered. And you have the, the option here to either buy this thing on the PlayStation 4, where you get minuscule, just tiny, maybe a, a tiny bit better graphics. As opposed to being able to lift this out of a dock and take it with you to uh, extended family, to take it with you to school, to take this thing with you to work, to play, and so on and so forth. So my question that, that I'm asking, that I'm discussing here, is which is better? If you have slightly better graphics or if you can carry it with you. Now personally, I would say carrying this game with me is far more important. And I would have never said this in the past, and it's somewhat new for me to think about. And I, I never really considered this until uh, Nintendo did what they did. I always watched the videos. There was this guy online. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know their names. But I saw this guy who like com combines TVs with PS4s and uh, 360s and you know Xbox Ones or whatever. You know, I watched a ton of this stuff where he actually connects the television to it to make it portable for people and contracts that out or something. And I was like, man, that, that's so cool. You know, I wish I had that. And then most people, I know what you guys are going to say, uh, which has been on here before, one word, laptop, right? Well, you know what? Most of us don't want to shell out a thousand or more dollars for a decent laptop to be able to carry with us that will only last about an hour and a half when you're using it at full capacity to play a highly graphical, you know, visual game. That's, a, that's just what it is. So anyway, uh, it's you, you have a trade-off too there with battery, but... I think it's way more important to be able to carry this thing with you as opposed to sitting at home and being stuck. Now, there, there's another one uh, I want to compare, just kind of talk about. I know this is somewhat of a rambling video slash discussion, but that's okay. Because sometimes we just need to ramble, right? Okay. Uh, so consider Assassin's Creed Origins, or as it is uh, rumored to be, Assassin's Creed Origins. That's coming, uh, coming really soon, actually. Uh, this is rumored to be coming out on the Nintendo Switch. Now, imagine this comes out and they say, you know what? You can buy this on a PlayStation 4. It's going to be a 1080p. You can buy it on a PlayStation 4 Pro. It's going to be upscaled to 4K. Or you can buy this thing for the Nintendo Switch and you can play it wherever the freak you want to play it. Okay. Now, which of those is the most important? And, you know, as I sit back and think about that, I'm like, yes, 4K is an amazing experience. But at the same time, there's so many times when I'm gaming that I'm just sitting back 
And I'm thinking, you know what? I just wish, you know, right now I'm playing Persona 5, and I'm so limited to in my time in playing this because I have to play it in one spot. So I'm only getting like an hour at a time in this game that it seems to, like it's, it's going to take eternity to finish this thing. So what do I wish on here? I'm, I'm like, man, I really wish Persona 5 was on the Nintendo Switch. Even if it had less impressive graphics or visuals, I would really love to see this thing on the Switch. Why? Because I can carry it with me. And things always come up where we have to leave. Every one of us have to get up and leave our houses. But look at the Breath of the Wild. What happened? People brought it with them and they played and they experienced and they just lived in the world of uh, Zelda for, for that entire time. So I think that Nintendo really tapped into something here as far as marketability. And this is... A, a true console, and I know what some of you guys are going to say. I know what some of the comments are going to say. You're going to say, okay, well, you say true console, but it doesn't have the big third parties, and it doesn't have this. Well, you know what? They're going to come. You know, we, we see by what EA said, and we see a lot of companies now beginning to jump on board. Even though preemptively we haven't seen what they are going to make, we know that they are starting to support this. And we've known from the beginning that third parties are not going to come until 2018 anyway. So we're not going to get our hopes up this year, but what we can do is hope for ports of other already made games, considering the Unreal Engine um, has a switch button where it can just port out a game to switch and then you have to tweak it from there for it to be on the system. This is just awesome. That means all these ports of games can come over. Games like uh, Tales of Assyria, which is rumored to come to the Nintendo Switch. That's amazing. All these games that are going to come, I think that people will want to buy them first on Nintendo. Because having something at 720p, which mind you, the screen on this thing on the go, having a game at 720p, it looks just as good as it does on the TV. It looks fantastic. So don't let that number fool you. Uh, but this, I mean, this is something that's just really exciting to be able to take this on the go. And, you know, we keep talking about this. There's some of you guys out there who haven't bought a Switch yet. Maybe you haven't been able to find one or you're waiting on Mario Odyssey, and that's fine. But until you actually undock this thing and see the magic of this game, like Breath of the Wild, pop into your hands, and then you can take it wherever you want, and you have the full version of the game. You know, this, again, surprised me of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I, I just played this thing uh, in, in handheld mode probably more than any other mode, and I was like, Man, like I can't believe this is in a handheld console. Like this, this, it's just insane. The magic behind this thing is great. Now I will say, you know, Sony. Me being a, a huge fan of Sony as well, they have amazing first-party games, um, and I'm, you know, I'm really excited about everything that they bring. So I'm not trying to down uh, the PlayStation for all. any of you guys out there who may take it that way. I just believe as far as marketability in today's culture with everyone being on the go all the time I think that um, people are going to be more likely to purchase a game that they can take with them everywhere especially considering it may be the same exact thing that they might have to anchor themselves to play somewhere else this is a problem with PCs too right you have to build that big massive amazing uh, PC to get it to run everything you want to run how you want it to run it and unless you make an amazing PC tower backpack you know, with a screen that's you know connects to your chest and you're in great shape so that you can carry this thing around with some kind of power source. I just don't, you know, I don't see this happening. So, and obviously I was kidding there. Anyway, well that's going to do it for this discussion slash rambling video. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think it's more important for uh, portability? or graphic capability and now keep in mind this means I'm not saying you know games that look like crap but you can take with you I'm saying games that are uh, slightly less like 720p versus 1080p which is more important would you rather a 720p game on the go that's the same exact thing as everything else or would you rather the 1080p that can upscale to 4k just because of the 4k all right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, I certainly appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you're watching. And I will see you guys next time.